<laughs> Hello. Hello, everyone. <laughs> I am Alec today. <laughs> this is Alec today. For, I guess, well, for everyone that doesn't know, I don't know. Because <laughs> I don't know who watches this either. I am, I am Cassandra. I am a coworker at the restaurant. This is the Cassandra. The famous one. The famous one. There's she actually, one. This is my girlfriend. So if you guys don't oh, remember. <laughs> this is Molly, my girlfriend. I'm Molly's this girlfriend. Is, this, yeah, this is my girlfriend. So basically, I don't know, a couple episodes ago, Cassandra did send in a beautiful video. Beautiful video. Beautiful video. And um, now she's finally here with us. So, I'm here today. Yeah. Everybody. So she's going to be filling in for Alec. Um, so she's going to be the wild card. You know, she's got to. So, so we got to do our. I don't know. I'm supposed to. I was supposed to do Alex's part. I don't really have that tune stuck in there. It took us a while anyway. It took us like a couple podcasts to get it. So don't. Well, you know what? Forget Alec. Alec. Me and Molly are going to be here all day, every day. All day, every day. Every other podcast is just me and Molly. Yeah. Well, ready? Yes. Okay, ready? All right. You, you okay. take us. Take us. A ba da ba ba. 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 Eyes so rough. <laughs> yeah, me and Molly. Well, I. Think <laughs> okay. Well, well, me and Molly are here after this weekend. I don't see Molly that much, anyways. Because why would I? Me and Molly see each other at our job. Yep. And Molly works, you know, every Sunday, Saturday. sometimes Saturday night. You know, I've seen her a couple Friday nights recently. It scared me recently. Yeah. Just a little bit. We have a very strict... I see my girlfriend only so many times Mm -hmm. throughout the week. But Molly's been busy. Have you been cheating on me? I just want to know. Have I been cheating on you? I mean, we don't have to talk about it. Yes. I actually got into a fight with... We're not going to get into this because I don't want to get mad. You're right. (laughs) I'm not a cheater or anybody. Every time I go into work, someone's like, well, Cassandra was like flirting with somebody else. And I just... We're not going to get into it. Well, I did. I got into a fight with my other girlfriend for cheating on other her. Other girlfriend? Yeah. So anyway, we're gonna we're gonna skip the. That's the we're, gonna sk- <laughs> we're gonna talk about this later. Um. So we're anyway, back. we'll circle back, everyone, because me and Molly, I t- we, she told you, I remember, we have a complicated relationship. We Molly do and very I. complicated, but that's what happens when you have a work life relationship right anything in the restaurant relationship wise is always complicated a little complicated so, yeah you know. <laughs> so uh let, let's talk about our past uh complicated well i think we should tell them because i don't know who knows what i know about what i know about the house <laughs> the, oh. the restaurant i'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, the restaurant the restaurant everybody uh <clears throat> Should I tell them a little bit about my experience? Sure. Yeah, and exactly. How I started there. Yeah. Well, okay. Um, <laughs> twenty twenty. We'll circle back to that year, right? Mm-hmm. You know, I have a sibling that also works with us at this job. Mm. Her her name's Ariana. <laughs> you said that so evilly. Her name is Ariana. Yeah. Mm. Who has not sent my in sister, a video well, yet? You no, know, I don't think my. Uh, She's not. Say that to the bike. Say it to the people. Say yeah. it to the people. You know, guys, I really don't think my sister's a fan. Not not that she's not a fan. I just don't think she is on Instagram all that much. So she doesn't get any of the Well, it's ads. different. Okay, so she just doesn't know about us yet. She knows about it. Okay, then never mind. She's just not a fan. She doesn't like she us. She just doesn't. I've spoken about the podcast. Oh. She knows it exists. Okay, she's just a fake fan. Oh. And my sister does listen to podcasts. Wow. Well, you know, which is bad because then, you know, what she she's our co-worker and she's not supporting. It's fine. We don't need everybody's support. I still love her, you know, but 
<laughs> no, just kidding. Well, okay. So my sibling, yeah, not fake fan. <laughs> yeah, Aria is. Co- I mean, <laughs> he just called me Aria. <laughs> you see what I mean? Sandra's like, I can never. Like, what do you think that about my first? sister over here? You, <laughs> you better relax, okay? Because everybody's this battle's ongoing with me and my sister. What sister do I pick? Can I flirt with both of the sisters? If I get with one <laughs> sister, can I get with the other sister? What's this sister doing? Where's that sister? This sister knows. We're not twins. I don't know. We don't have telepathic. Communication. Abilities, yeah. Yeah. Huh? No. Me and my sister get fought over a lot. Yes. Everybody's. Have you ever had an issue where you guys were going after the same person? No, right. Um. Oh God. Okay. Well, <laughs> there was a point in time where me and my sister are very <laughs> close. I would say so. I do know <laughs> some things that she knows that I know that you know. I know. <laughs> and um. There was a point in time where I told her, you know, I have a crush on this person. And she was kind of like, well, I had a little crush on that person, too. And I was like, yeah, well, let's see, you know, who makes the first move. And that's only happened once. Really? Mm -hmm. So we have. Mm. See, I have a sister, too, and she is also older. Jen. Jen, yeah. yeah. Shout out to Jen. Shout out to Molly's sister, Jen. And, like, back when we were younger... It was she was for, ugh, for sure the hotter older sister that like all my all the guys in my grade would always be like oh your sister's so hot ugh, her butt ugh. like you know what I'm saying and I'm just like okay I get it I get it I get it and now you know what's actually crazy well I shouldn't say this but there's a certain someone who actually used to work with us who had I definitely said this on one of the podcasts but had lied about like hooking up with me. And he ended up DMing my sister. Oh. Crazy. Weird. Interesting. Noah N. N. Bartender. Cute. Tall. Oh. Disney fanatic. He got his own podcast. <laughs> well, we're not going to get into that. No hate. No hate. He's ha- He has a baby coming along. My sister also has wow. two babies and everything. But anyway, I had that issue. Well, like, not really that issue, but I just always made a mental note of any guy who like hit on my sister or liked my sister always was like you're You're never gonna get me so like if you even think about in like five years you want to come after me i'm gonna be like no you you said my sister's butt was nice last time exactly well exactly you know what also though sister over any dick of course of course i don't think i've ever fought with my sister over any guy am i allowed to curse yeah. Uh. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Right. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. Sure. I feel like you know. <laughs> well. Okay. Listen. <clears throat> True. Sure. Yeah. I don't want you know to be involved in anything crazy. <laughs> 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 okay. So you know what? This whole time we were supposed to be talking about my existence. Oh yes. <laughs> yes. 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 Okay. Oh. So my sister <laughs> works there. She worked there. I want to say maybe two. Y- yeah, like maybe a year and a half, two years before I ever started. I started in 2020, maybe. Yes. So, yeah. Yeah. Sure. I was a host first. So I was not involved with uh, <laughs> any coworkers except we did have a host. Do you remember? Um, I'm going to say her name because fuck that bitch. Do you remember <laughs> Bellamy? No. <laughs> you don't. If, I, if I'm being completely honest, I don't know any host names. This is some fucking drama. Oh, my God. Oh, here we go. I was a host. We had... I'm going to spill it because this is actually great material. (laughs) When I was... (laughs) Fuck you, Bella Rama. Fuck you, Bella. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know. Okay. okay. When I was a host, we had a whole group of hosts, right? It Mm -hmm. was like a set group of girls that worked there. And um, the only two people who had been working there at the time who were there for a while... Dan. Dan... Shout oh, Danny out Dan, Dan, Dan sure. Curry, yeah. yeah. Um, and I don't know. Do you remember Millie? Yes. I okay. So Millie. Dan and Millie were the only two that had been working there for a while. Oh, yeah. So me, there was probably maybe five girls. Jesse is still one of those hosts that is still work mm-hmm. with us. Lexi, Gianna, those two are in school, so they're here and there. Who else did we work with? Bellamy. We worked with some girl named Syrah. And Jesse, me. Yeah. Like a good, I would say like eight people, right? Mm-hmm. It was a solid group for a good couple months. 
we had this one girl. Her name was Bellamy. Okay. I started, I was a good employee. I'm a great employee. I went above and beyond. You know, we had Colfer at the time. They're there. Or this is. Yeah. This, ever spoken about him on here? Yeah, 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 yeah. Is, yeah. Right, yeah. So at the time, we had our, our best manager we've had thus far. Uh, he was, <laughs> in my opinion, he was a great manager though. Would you say not? I think so. Right? I miss that man as our manager. I like, I liked him. I loved him. Okay. So listen, I got promoted within the first two months. I did a good job. I fucking knew everything. I knew all the training material. Like I just was the best one. I don't mean to be cocky, but obviously, you know, it's true because Bellamy couldn't do. She couldn't do it. They were all upset. I guess I don't really know. It was a whole. Thing. <laughs> like Dan had been there for a good minute, and he was upset that he didn't get promoted because he he was there for a long time, and I did say that also. I was surprised, but I mean, whatever. I got promoted. This girl hated me for no reason. I really don't know what her problem was. It was just like I got promoted, and all of a sudden it was a problem. She had to work every Sunday for lunch specifically, and and you want to know why? Why? I, she had a crush on Mike. Mikey? Our bartender. Uh, oh. Gomes. Wait, I, now that, now it's ringing a bell. And she, this girl, listen to me, okay? Not, not, nobody knows this because you aren't a host, so you didn't know it. This girl, okay, first of all, let's think about how many goddamn plugs the host have available to them. Like 20. They have like three strips of like 10 plugs. Come on. There's no reason for this girl to go behind the bar. She would charge her phone to go behind the bar so she could speak to Mike. Every Saturday morning, because Mike would be there every Saturday. Mm. 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. He was there. And you know who was behind the bar? 6 p.m. You know who was behind that bar? Charging their phone. Where we have perfectly acceptable chargers at the host end. (laughs) Bellamy. And so I would make jokes about this all the time because it's just like. It is funny. That is funny. You're going out of your way. And she just hated me. We had a group chat with the host. Her last day or whatever, she sent a fat ass message saying like, you're a bitch, blah, 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 blah. And I hate that girl. I don't hate her. I don't really give a fuck about her. <laughs> it's the first time I've thought about her. That was, <laughs> why <laughs> she existed. That was a lot. No, that's actually really annoying. I, I had some um, host beef back at like circa t- 2016, I think, when I was a host back at Fridays and I hated this one girl so much I actually don't remember her name but she was so poor she was the same she would go in like she would go in like the the kitchen a lot we never had to go to the kitchen really ever she'd go all the time to like flirt with like a couple of the people there I think and like she just was never doing anything she was never doing her job that's what never. I'm saying never we open 12 p.m. This girl's behind the fucking bar charging her phone, trying to talk to Mike. And it's like, bitch, like I you am need to your charge boss. your phone at yeah, night. It's like, I am your boss, technically. Why is it, why is it dead in the morning? That's what I'm saying. I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> That's my point exactly. It's like she would get upset that I'd be like, dude, stop going behind the bar. And then if I wouldn't schedule, <laughs> if I wouldn't schedule her to work that shift, it was like the biggest fucking problem. Like sometimes I would schedule myself to work that fucking shift. I'm in charge of the schedule. I give myself that I have that benefit. Yeah. Doing the schedules. I would sometimes schedule myself Saturday morning. That was just what I like to work as a host. And it would be like if she wasn't scheduled that Saturday morning and I was, she would send me a text message and I could pull them up right now. <laughs> she would be like, can I have your Saturday shift? And I, oh my God. I was just like, yeah, so you could talk to Mike. That you is- can have it. You can have it, bitch. Take that it. That was a little aggressive. Yeah. I've heard to always want that yeah. shift. That's weird. That's very strange. Do you think the host being, uh, should chill out with that? Do you think the host be trying to hit on dudes too much? Alec is talking back there. He yeah. wants to know if, because, <laughs> uh, you know, he said, he wants Probably. to know if the host be out here hitting on people. Because you both are sharing stories. Because like we're both sharing Well, 100%. Because yeah. host, I'm sorry, but like, uh, like I obviously if you're a good host you keep yourself busy but like if you're just a, like meh you're gonna be bored so when you're bored you either eat or you flirt and those are the two options you Maybe. have as a girl <laughs> to eat and flirt <laughs> yeah eat wow and flirt. You, give, you give the female species <laughs> so much credit it's like what do we do we just eat and we flirt <laughs> That's all we if do, we guys. we can't keep busy, we just got to eat and flirt. Maybe that's all the females do in the restaurant industry. Exactly. Maybe. Like, what else are you going to do? You can't leave. You, like... 
The they, guy, what are the guys <laughs> doing, Molly? The guys are out here. They're flirting. And they're eating, too. And they're, they're fucking chomping some. on things somewhere, sitting back in booth 38. Yeah, mm-hmm. no. And getting high. And getting, and getting high. high. If I don't show up to work high, I had a shitty day. <laughs> <laughs> if I didn't have enough time to smoke before I came to work this day, which is five days a week, by the way, horrible day. <laughs> and sometimes I pick shifts up on Monday, Tuesday. If I'm not high, please, Lord, I am going to be such a bitch. And I tell people that all the time. We have a manager who gets upset. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> I show up to work high, understandably. But it's like, do you want me to be nice to our customers? Do you, do you want me to provide great service? I'm going to be high. And our, I don't know, I mean, I don't know if they feel comfortable saying, but if our owner knows and fully supports it. <laughs> I don't want to say that with total certainty because maybe he doesn't. But I feel like he does because he knows. He knows. Yeah. He'll call me out on it. He'll be like, you look real high right now. And I'm like, I'm literally in another planet. <laughs> you do get like that. <laughs> That's funny. Aww. No, I wish I could. I just, I can't. I personally can't, you know, try to be there for the youth of today. <laughs> Molly's trying to make America great. <laughs> She's trying to make sure our youth is prepared for whatever's to come in later whatever's years. What are you come. teaching high school? Yeah. Soft, what are you teach a specific grade or do you just teach like No, cuz I I do math so it covers a lot. Like you might be like a sophomore or junior in the same math. You so know what I'm saying? Teaching geometry, some calculus. Algebra 2, geometry, Molly's algebraic a system. That's a lot of work, Molly. It is. I'm it not is. looking for it to it. It's fine. It's fine. I'm not going to think about it. This is not what the podcast is for. Looks like it's going to rain too, but it's fine. <laughs> um, but no, I actually, um, so I actually moved closer to my job, my other job, because we were wondering <laughs> that earlier, actually, because <laughs> I want it. First of all, I need to move out. Okay. I'm getting to the age. I can't stay at my parents anymore. And, um, and I moved and it's been nice, but the, um, so I had told this story earlier on my, on my story, my Instagram story. <laughs> and I just feel like it needs to be shared because customer service, right? Customer we, we're in service. the customer service industry, if right? If you're on your job's <laughs> land, you're, you're working. You you're might working. not be clocked in, but you're fucking working. Okay. You Those customers have, you are going to remember you yep, and your yep. name tag. And, and Molly, name, go ahead. Share, yeah. share this story with So this is like my new shop, right? Right. It's right across from where I'm now living. <laughs> and it's, I just got a shop rate card. I feel very like, you know, I'm, I'm getting older. I'm doing my thing. I'm doing what I need to do. Okay. So I finally just got my shop rate card. <laughs> and, um, I'm Molly, leaving. I have my shop right card. I know. I, I just never got I used to use my mom. Alec doesn't. I used to put my mom's like number just so that she gets the point. She gets you yeah, know. But now you're right. an adult. But now I'm an adult. So they ask me every time if I have a shop right card and I won't get it. I won't get it. <laughs> well you're you guys missing, are out. missing out you're on missing a out. whole bunch it's of deals. It's like, on you now. Look, he's coming back. <laughs> I'm coming back, sorry. But I just feel like, yeah, that's a big step. <laughs> Cause they ask me, I'm like, no, I'm not ready yet. One day. So can, <laughs> can you put my phone number in there? I like to get those I, uh, points. Uh, you, you feel like you even get points? I feel like ShopRite points are never even redeemable. My, well, that's what my sister said. But then again, my mom says opposite. My mom's always like, oh, I got a turkey for Thanksgiving. Yeah, or but I feel like doesn't Christmas. every asshole get that turkey I for Christmas? So like, isn't that what you just get for being a member of the stupid thing? Like, are Honestly, we even actually getting anything out I of this I really thing? have no idea, but it makes me feel good. So I got one. So, so. got one. <laughs> So I Big like step. I bought all these groceries today and like her fruit her fruit basket my fruit cool. basket that I you know so anyway I'm going out to my car and I see that like <laughs> this lady is in the car next to my car and she has a door wide open and I'm like oh please tell me this lady doesn't have her door up against my car because like you know I don't want to be that person to have to be like sorry but like move your fucking door. Yeah, so, but she's talking to one of the workers who's also, like, doing the car shit, whatever, and she's, like, finagling in her backseat, and as I'm pulling up, I notice her door... <laughs> wait, 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 Molly also mentioned <laughs> what? that this lady was a little bigger. She was a little bigger. A little bigger than the average <laughs> woman. She's just a little bigger, you know, and she was older, whatever, but she's, like, and that's why, like, you know, she's in the backseat, like, doing moving around stuff and things, whatever, and she's, like, half in, half out. And I noticed that her car door was on mine. So I, like, you know, 
obviously I'm there, so I'm going to just say something. So I, like, I try to be really nice about it because I get it. Like, you know, sometimes people, that happens. So I was like, excuse me, miss, but your car door is on my car door. And I just wanted to, like, you know, you know, just get it off it, you know? And then she was like, she got out of the back seat and huffed and puffed so hard. Like, oh, well, <laughs> if you didn't park over the line. Yo. Listen, bitch. I was like, hold up. I was like, then park somewhere else. And she was like, and the guy, I guess her little uh, posse over here is like, well, she's been here since like 6 a.m. And I was like, well, I don't really give a shit. That doesn't really give you yeah, the right. I've been here since have- 6 a.m. Let me just fucking slam yeah. my car door into your car. Exactly. Because I've just been at fucking working at ShopRite since 6 a.m. So yeah, I, no, and I was, still being, I was still being nice. I was kind of like, I know it's been a long day. You probably, you know, it's like, whatever, I get it. But, like, I'm just letting you know, like, your car door is on mine. And it is it is leaving a mark. And she was like, oh, I doubt it. And she, like, literally moved her car door. And I saw, I witnessed, like, 4K, in 4K, the chipped paint, like, scratch, like, a paint chip. And I was like, and I, and I don't care. Because if you see my car, like, look. Bertha. Big Bertha, Big Bertha has been through a lot. Okay, She's Big's been alive a long yeah, time. Yeah, Big Bertha actually died and was re, <laughs> re- reincarnated, reincarnated. <laughs> or no, I guess resurrected, re- resurrected, resurrected. Because she's not. Because yeah, she she's, she's alive right now. She's, she's injured. Alive. She's doing. Do you it. think she's injured or? She was. And she just got some she, scars on her. Yeah, she okay? got battle wounds. That's all. But she's still precious. But and she deserves to be treated the right way. Exactly. Way. Like, I'm going I'm to fight for Big Bertha. I know that there's, like, a lot of scratches on Big Bertha. She's black, white, and red all in one. Like, she has different parts on her. <laughs> she she looks crazy. On her. But I love her, you know? Like, she, I've been with her for a while. So I just wanted to say something. I was like, look. This happened. I was like, there's nothing. I, I wouldn't have cared because, you know, Big Bertha does have a lot of scratches. I wouldn't care about the scratch. But the fact that she caught an attitude and then blamed me and said it was because I was over the line. And I was like, first of all, if you had a floor, uh, Ford Expedition, you would know that it's hard sometimes to park amazing in all parking spots because it's just not it's not feasible unless i'm going in and out and in, you know what i'm saying like shit happens so anyway big car, Molly. it's a we big it. it's a big baby you I know what i'm saying it. Fuck exactly. that lady. fuck that lady so anyway the guy's like she works here miss and i was like even better okay marie and i looked straight at her this is why we say if you're on property of your job you are working you need to be careful because i'm like look i don't want to be a karen i don't like being a karen but that's why I came in very nicely said excuse me please move your car door you're on mine I have to get in my driver's seat anyway and you caught the whole attitude and then blamed it on me then said oh she tried to say that the mark on my car was rubbable like you could rub it off and I was like she literally rubs her nasty grubby hands on my car and like she's like rubbing it noticing that it's a paint chip it's not a freaking scuff mark it's a paint chip so I was like no Actually, and then I started getting loud because then I'm like, you started wanted it. Ratchet. Like you, I started to get ratchet. Started getting and I haven't gotten ratchet. ratchet in a while. Like, trust me, I don't like getting ratchet. I hold it in. I don't. I don't act like that. I don't need to. I'm like, I live a peaceful life, right? I have a this lot to be grateful everybody. for. Yeah. But when I tell you, my veins were popping out, and I was like screaming at her like this, and like people were walking to their cars, like it's raining, and I'm just like, is it? Did you feel that? No. I felt to drop. We're going. We're okay, going. yeah, I just yeah. Thought- it might, we might have to relocate in a minute. But basically, I was just annoyed because I felt like they were being really rude for yeah, no reason. She could have just, just, just been like, been hey, like, sorry. I'm sorry for being a piece of shit. Let me take my car door that yeah. I opened and placed here and just move it a little bit. Maybe even, you know. And you know what? I mean, and again, like, I'm much more um, younger and like, you know, like, what's the word? Like, <laughs> <laughs> what are you trying to say? What are you trying like, to say? Fe- like, I don't know if it's feasible, but like, but whatever the word is. But I like at Kane, physically able. You're where like, I used to, yeah, where I used to have to park for school. Was this lady handicapped though? She no, was just big. no, she was just big. But like, I've had to go through my back, like my my back of my trunk sometimes because I couldn't get in through the sides. I know that's probably not 
necessary, like not, not something that she could probably do. But at least if you have to put your car door on mine, do it gently. And I know that bitch didn't do it gently because it mm -hmm. did leave a, a thing of the paint. But anyway, regardless, if ShopRite is listening right now, Fuck, Fuck Marie. Marie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Listen, shop right of uh I'm, I'm not uh, like nah. I don't want nobody to know where I'm living. <laughs> it's Cogwell. <laughs> if you will. <laughs> Far away from us. Uh, fuck that lady. Fuck that bitch. She deserves to get written up for that. I really wanted to call up the shop right now. And right you can after. tell you can tell shop right right now, Molly. She's not becoming a member anymore. She I spent a good whopping a whopping amount of money on ShopRite. Now I'm starting to think about going to Whole Foods. <laughs> you did it to yourself, Marie. You're Marie's out here <laughs> fucking shit up. And then the funniest part too, like I, after I was done putting my groceries in, I just I was so petty. I put the the cart right. In, <laughs> dumb, dumb I put it with the cart right in front of her car, <laughs> and then I walked away. And I was just like, did not even look at her. And then the guy, the cart guy, who's like her posse, was like real classy, and I was like, you fucking have your car door on mine. <laughs> like that's so messed up. Uh, again tell them but, about the window what, what she was trying to tell oh, you <laughs> and then when i got in my car too i was in my driver's seat right and i'm about to back up and i'm like looking both ways and as i look over i see she's like looking at me she has her, her thing rolled down and i'm like if my window was down i would have pulled it right back up because i'm not talking to that bitch no more because she had puppy dog eyes it looked like she was gonna say sorry because i think she knew i was probably gonna call and be a karen and be like marie of this shop right da 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 and I literally was like, I'll get you fired, but I'm not going to I'll that. get you fired for slamming your door to my car. <laughs> it's, about the, it's about the service. Like, Marie, Marie, you're, yeah, like, you're, you're clocked out, but you slammed your door into my so car. So I was like, maybe, like, fired. maybe it's the long shifts that get people grumpy and all that. But like, look, I didn't ask for that. I'm a very nice person, especially when I feel so awkward even saying anything to people when that stuff happens. Because I'm always like, damn, I don't want to come off as a bitch. But no, fuck that bitch. After that, I really got loud, and I don't care. It is what it is at this point. I'm just happy that I didn't do my laundry for a while, and I don't have a shirt of the school that I work at because I was like, now if they call Kane Swimming to say, what are your swimmers? Da -da 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 -da. This lady. Be like, I don't know. Who's Who, that? Who's that? She don't work here. <laughs> so, yeah, that's my story. Um, Molly got ratchet today, and that that was why. It was, a, yeah, it wasn't a cute look. I don't <laughs> like looking like that. That's, um, but... You know. Hmm? Hmm? Oh, um, what? Well, and now we have a special video. No, it is. It is. Yeah, I, I need to get off of that. Even, I need to get off know. of that. Yeah. We have a video. Are we just, we're watching the two of us? We're going to watch this video. Alex sent us in a video today, and we're going to listen to see what. <laughs> Should we, should I put the mic so they can hear? Oh, no, he'll, he'll add it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. Ready, Molly? Mm hmm. What is good with this? Okay. Hey, what's up, Ice Room? It's me, Alec, here. You know, I thought I'd record a little video for you guys, <laughs> you know, since I couldn't be there today. You know, I decided, <laughs> you know, I'll ride the bench for this one. I'll sit this one out a little bit, you know, maybe Jay chill uh, a little bit. I feel like everybody's heard plenty of me talk, so. Um, but I did have a question. Um, I guess it's not really a question. Um, it's more of like a, this makes it even. you know, statement, I guess. I want you to, um, to roast me, uh, you know, maybe roast my serving <laughs> ability. Just maybe roast me as a person, you know, I'm I sure know. hopefully that's not too hard. I got a couple, you know, maybe throw say. a couple shots my way, if you will, <clears throat> but that's it. Have a wonderful episode without me, you know, and, and viewers have a wonderful episode without me. Peace. <laughs> Right. Okay, well, well, I don't really want to roast your personality because, you know, that's there's nothing too wrong much. with it. There's not, however, oh. you're, <laughs> you're, you're, like, oh. too <laughs> you're serving. No, I mean, Molly's way nicer than I am. <laughs> um, I do have some things to say about Alex Servant. Have you ever seen this man <laughs> walk up to a table? Like, you know what? I'm gonna reenact right now. Um, this this past weekend. <laughs> Sunday, I will, if you will. 
I don't ever <laughs> interrupt anybody while they're serving a table. <laughs> <laughs> but this man just got some balls on him. Listen, I'm up I'm up at on the high tops. Do you do this a lot? He, apparently he does this a lot. <laughs> oh my god. I'm in the high tops on Sunday. Mind in my business. I have a table, these two ladies. <clears throat> I'm talking to them. God knows about what. It could have been so many things. I was really funny Sunday, I think. My tables all were cracking up at me. <laughs> so I'm a great one. And what was I? No, I had, did I have something in my hand that time? No, that was the other table. You interrupted me. Oh, my God. He had straws. Five minutes prior to talking to this table, I remember now. <laughs> Five minutes prior to me talking to this table, I took a straw out of Alex's apron because it, he was right there. There was no straws in the pitcher that we have usually. Yeah. And I go, you know what? I just need a straw. I pull it out. I go to my table five minutes later. You know, Alex is doing his own thing. He's at service bar. Maybe he's waiting for drinks. You know, <laughs> This man is working on the patio. Doesn't even need to be near me. I'm talking to my table in deep in this conversation and this man walks up to me and goes right in the middle as I'm speaking he goes I'm sorry I don't mean to interrupt you today I just thought you would like some straws has a whole bag of straws <laughs> like you know like you go to the back and you get a bag of straws yeah yeah he just has a bag of straws and he's just over here filling shit in the pitcher when I go back to service bar the main bar fill of straws i go alex off your stock <laughs> so maybe that's a good thing that alec does is he'll fill your straw pitcher up for you and put some straws that's in your nice. apron that's that's nice but he just comes up to us middle of the conversation I'm sorry to interrupt you but i thought you might need these hands me like a fat ass water <laughs> straws and these ladies are just like what just happened <laughs> and i'm like thanks alec and i, I say though i say this is that was the other table i had another table simultaneously who listen this couple comes in a lot and i've only had them one other time i felt bad because i did some shady shit to that lady oh but you know what it's fine um (laughs) we won't talk about that Uh, um wait hold on (laughs) they ordered clams right this yeah you know when you order clams they bring you the second bowl so you could put all the little shells in the bowl so this table was done eating their clams. I'm over there free busting my table because, you know, our managers mm-hmm. always send the messages out about that. Like, just let me leave the dirty plates on the table. I go to pick the t- thing up. I have it in my arm. I'm chatting to these people because they're just real chatty people. The guy keeps making jokes with me. So he's like a funny table. So I said to him, this is the clams. I said, do you want me to take this out of the way for you? And he goes, oh, no, I'll just put it right there on the floor. And uh, Alec goes... Well, he comes up to the table again. He's just like, (laughs) he's just walking in from the patio, interrupts me again in front of another table after he just (laughs) like 20 minutes ago. And he's like, yeah, I bet you if I were to put those on the floor, she would be real upset with me. And these people are like, who the fuck is this guy? He just came out of nowhere. Like, and he took, you know, he took the plate out of the way though. So very useful. Yeah. He said, can I put it on the floor? And I... And I said, sure, but when I do it, she gets upset with me. Like, obviously, like, yo. you know. But you know what? Alec is a phenomenal server. Yeah. Do you have anything to say about his skills? you ever seen him do anything? Not something that I'd roast him roast on. Him. Well, it's you know, hard. It's hard because yeah. Alec can mess up. But he's funny. But he's funny about it, so you <laughs> can't get mad. Like... It's fine. Like I, he even ratted on himself a couple of the on a couple of the podcasts yeah. about desserts that weren't rugged. It's fine. <laughs> <Have you, laughs> you know what? I've seen that happen multiple times in real life, mm. and every time because the kitchen's always fucking shit up on Sunday night. It's like you go with yeah. It's oh, it sitting, always has been. Why are Sunday, we sitting at the table? I, first of all, ten minutes before the kitchen closes, and then you know no manager ever cares enough to go to the kitchen and be like, hey guys. And we just sat at a table. Maybe, you know, you <laughs> wait a little while, see what they want. No, they're just, like, ready to clean up. They start closing the kitchen mad yeah. early. I've seen him fuck a couple things up. He's had to walk in there a couple times and be like, yeah. hey, you know, I <laughs> fucked up today. So if you have Alec as a server, just, it's I always the, you don't hey. walk in. Yeah, it's like, hi, guys, my name's Alec, and I'll be taking care of you folks today. <laughs> um, any drinks I can start off for you? And then, you know, he'll make a joke somewhere in there, probably. Yeah. No, 100% the joke. 100%. I feel like, <laughs> yeah, I I don't know. Alec is Alec is funny. But I can't roast you. I, I feel can't. Like, yeah, there's really never, you never really do anything that's like, 
come on, dude. I would like to see, I would like to hear what somebody says about me because honestly, yeah. I know I have my issues. Yeah, well, so. maybe if I, you know, we were a little, oh, I, I feel like, should I have asked other people, maybe they would have sent videos in, but I didn't ask anybody today. No, you're good. You're good. Yeah. It was very sprung, yeah. This wasn't planned. <laughs> but I'm here. We're here. We're, We're here. both here. Do you know what? What? <clears throat> Do you want to know actually what happened this weekend? It was a little weird this week. Really? Some, um, you know, we have our regulars that come to, what did I oh, say? Did oh, I say yeah. the name? Mm-hmm. Oh, so shit. Sorry. This weekend at the restaurant. This weekend at our place of work. <sighs> you know, we have regulars that come a lot. And these two guys come regularly. Oh, right? Yeah. Did they hear that? Does it matter? He oh. could cut it out anyway. Okay. And they're there with these people, some one girl who used to work there a little while ago, some other random human beings I've never seen before, I don't mm-hmm. really care about. And they were there outside one day with our Hunter, our coworker Hunter, who is a bartender who you guys have spoken about a thousand times. Um, there was some creepy dude, you know, he's Oh, not- I was there. I was there. Oh, were you there? Yeah, I was when there. When he crashed the car and everything? Or? Well, I didn't see him crash the car. But you heard about it. But I heard about it because I was there and I knew what creepy guy it was. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. we had a creepy guy at the restaurant this past weekend. Pervert. So there's this girl that used to work with us, very gorgeous girl, Aubrey, Super gorgeous. and she was hanging out with our regulars and this guy was sitting next to her and he just was like crazy OD staring at her like staring at her tattoo staring at everything and like they were like kind of asking her like yo if aubrey if you want to move you can move and then she was just like no it's okay it's fine it's whatever and like she was like swearing like it was okay it was okay and then i guess like the guy ended up leaving at some point and um yeah he just he like ended up crashing his car right outside our restaurant and he ended up crashing into our host's car george who we love I didn't know you that. You didn't know all... That's what I... Yeah, that's no, what no, I was no, getting at because you, yeah. you weren't here. Or I didn't see you, at least. Um, this... Yeah, so this pervert man... Mm-hmm. <laughs> I guess after, you know, he had been confronted about being weird, he left because he got cut off initially for being weird. Mm-hmm. And um, he went outside, went in his car, opened the door, <laughs> got in the car, turned the car on, was probably super drunk. When he was coming out of the spot, hit our host's car totaled that shit no yeah and then you know obviously they sent george out to go look at his car he just drove off this dude like no no care in the world i mean he probably he was super drunk maybe he didn't even know yeah that he hit the car or maybe he did and he's just a douchebag but he ended up totaling george's car three thousand dollars is what we heard from george that the damage was and I just thought that was crazy. That doesn't wow. happen. Actually, you know, somebody... Huh? They knew who the guy was. Yeah. They got some they, video footage from the other buildings. They said that there was like building. three... They, they, they said that there was three witnesses it when was. it happened. I, I heard that... I heard that Everybody was, saw him walking out too. Like it wasn't... Like they knew George saw that guy walk out and then all of a sudden as soon as that guy walks out, the car got hit. He knew it was him. Yeah. Who else is leaving the parking lot? Yeah. Nobody because it was so slow. And we have, like, the names, obviously, <laughs> on record from, like, the bar. God forbid anything did happen. But it was, like, so, like, yeah, he did hit and run. Like, it was, like, crazy. But, yeah, I was, it was a talk that night. Like, oh, that creepy guy. Oh, yeah, he just, like, hit a whole car and just decided Drove to Drove off. <laughs> uh, that must suck to just go to a bar thinking, I'm going to have a drink. I'm going to chill out. Can and you imagine you George? Know, like, no, fuck. Can, yeah, can you imagine George? Like, he's coming to work. You know, he expects his car to be there in one piece after yeah. he gets off his shift. No, he's coming out to a broken car. That's like, always, that's why whenever my parents are always like, oh, like, I don't want you parking your car here and there, whatever, leaving it overnight or something. I'm always like, well, there are cameras. And, like, they actually work. Like, thank God our cameras at a restaurant work. Because you know what? I had places a, in their cameras. There's I had a, I had an incident one time. I don't know if I talked about this the, on one of the podcasts. I'm not sure, but I used to have I used to have run-ins with a lot of people who tried to jump out on their check, right? Try to like like dine and dash back at like these older restaurants I worked at, which are like more ratchet. Where I used to be ratchet, now I'm not <laughs> so ratchet. <laughs> but. 
But I used to catch him. And I remember this one person I was bugging on because I caught him. And they were trying to like da 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 lie, all this stuff. He tried to basically say that I was trying to steal. Like he gave me like say like eighty dollars cash, but he really only gave me sixty dollars. He said he gave me another twenty, and I I pocketed it. Shady, and I was like, I did not pocket it. I was like, I blew up and I was like you want to check the cameras right now and like this one guy who didn't work there anymore but I guess she used to work there and he was at the bar he was like don't say that like the cameras don't work and I was like no fuck that yeah like fuck you the yeah. cameras do work and cameras you're a do piece work. of shit <laughs> liar but yeah no wait what no this was at an older restaurant yo do you ever remember Ethan used to just be like up on the cameras all day? Oh day. yeah, yeah. But you know what? You know what? I really just wanted to hit that man in the face sometimes. Oh, and uh, ooh, today. So did Alec. <laughs> did I ever? Did you ever? When I was a host again, I was just such a troublemaker as a host. Still am, as a server. But uh, <laughs> I think I've earned my spot. You know. Mm-hmm. I know. <clears throat> No, just <laughs> still a piece of shit. Um, I was a host one day. I like I said before, I was in charge. I was always the anchor, who's the human being that stays up there to greet all these wonderful people that just walk into where we work. And uh, I had a system that worked. No servers ever had any complaints about getting skipped. Nobody was getting triple sacked. That's true. That is very I true. I was a good. I was good. I I was always on my shit because I was always teaching everybody else how to do it. So this man, and I don't want to discredit him because Ethan was really smart and he really did plot shit out really smart, especially for holidays and stuff like that. But there's a place and a time to do things. And this one Friday, it was, I swear to God, historical sales for our restaurant that day. Like, I'm not even kidding. This day, Tom was pulling tables out of his ass. Like, <laughs> it was a busy fucking friday okay this this is the day that tom was putting fucking tables on the stage like, oh can my you, god do you remember, I remember how fucking that. busy the patio <laughs> was open like this fucking restaurant <laughs> was jumping like it was busy as fuck right everywhere yeah everywhere, bar inside tapas like everything was open 500 300s like shit was open okay yeah he comes in 6 30 p.m sharp when there's like fucking literally 30 people in the lobby like i swear and he's like you know what guys today we're gonna do this rotation sheet this way and i go literally like mad mad rude because i'm fucking trying to deal with all these 30 yeah. people asking me you got a table for four and you too and it's like it's a 45 minute wait dick <laughs> he's over here trying to tell me like do it this way do it this way and do you want to know what he was just doing the whole time which made no fucking sense because i was doing it anyway just not as as hard He's over here trying to tell me, so normally on a rotation sheet, you put the servers, you put their sections, and you put how many people you sit at that table that you sit, and then you just keep going in order, right? You've mm-hmm. done rotation sheet mm-hmm, before. Mm-hmm. He just wanted me to write over the number of how many people we sat at that table, and he wanted me to write basically, so I sat Molly with this first table, there was four people there, then I write second table, there was eight people there. He wanted me to do that. Why? Why? Uh... Why? So in the middle of that shift, I got angry, and I go, Ethan! <laughs> shut up i'm like do you litter i'm like we're not doing this today like do you see how many people are here and you're trying to tell my host all these different things now i got three bitches walking this way and two bitches walking that way like come on and they brought me upstairs like 30 minutes later him colfer and john i'm allowed to say these people sure yeah. worst case we could always edit it out but yeah no you're good okay current managers our managers our managers called you up there (laughs) okay sure so whatever i got in trouble obviously for being rude and or talking back and i go upstairs and this man was being so dramatic about it like he's over here telling our owner our other manager he's like she was disrespectful disobeyed orders and i'm sitting there angry i wanted to hit this man in the face and I'm sitting there like why would you come up to me as an anchor 6 30 p.m busiest hour of the night you're over here trying to change shit and now you're upset with me because I told you to go away (laughs) they sent me home that day and ever since that day I literally have hated that man wow and look at this one over here he said wrap it up oh Oh, you can grab we got we got like 15 more minutes 10 more minutes I mean, listen. Grab it. Okay. Grab it. Put it out. Are we gonna? Are we, we gonna, gonna eat yeah. that while we're here? 
Alec just tripped. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, Alec was like, before we started, he's like, just don't talk to me. <laughs> he's like, don't talk to me, okay? Because I don't have a mic and they're not supposed to know I'm here. This was completely unplanned, by the way, everybody. Here he is talking, knowing that you, <laughs> you guys can't can hear. hear him. <laughs> yeah, he, well, this was unplanned, obviously. Because mm-hmm. <laughs> we don't have any notes or anything in front of us. Nothing, nothing. We didn't even get to hear, you know, the theme song was bad, too. It was fine. It's I think, fine, I though. it was good for a first run. I think so. Alec and Mikey didn't even do one. So Alec and Mikey what? weren't even talking about the restaurant. Like, <laughs> they're out here talking about being on horses. horses. <laughs> like, come on. Me and Molly here. I think this is the most restaurant talk that me and Alec ever have had on the podcast, podcast. in a minute. Yeah, like, you're so welcome, guys. This is good. You know, this if is good. If we want to get stuff. off topic, we can. We had did we, a little bit. We definitely could, but I did we, spill a lot of tea today. I feel like you know if <laughs> <laughs> I hope nobody that I mentioned watches this video. Because it's so I don't fun. Have any problems? I'm just trying to share what my side of the story is on here, <laughs> <laughs> and it could be wrong to other people, but to me, it's what happened. I feel like Wayne is in his office listening to them every week. You think so? Just like no. But I it was feel funny like for a while. Has to know about it for a while. Like it was funny how we'd say something and then it would happen. Like we talked about like how, everything. Yeah, it was yeah. Like people were put. You guys were putting it into the universe. Yeah. So I I don't know. I was like maybe they are listening. That's why you know not to rat on ourselves here. But we're great workers. Like honestly, we're really good. I we, think genuinely. I mean, Molly's can't really be that much of a bad worker she's only there really once a week and it's like she knows she knows what she has to do she goes to work and she has to do the same job the only difference is she's dealing with different people every time Mm -hmm. whereas well i mean i guess it's the same thing for me as a server and molly was a server as well at state yeah Uh, i see i see more like (laughs) regulars honestly as a bartender and like it's less of a hassle of like okay is this table gonna be like this or that i already kind of can tell or know i mean like you could tell and know about a table too but yeah i people surprise you people do surprise you but we are good employees we are we give phenomenal service every shift we work and if we didn't it's your fault just like how it was my fault that the lady's car door was on mine. I can't get over it. Yeah. No. But completely understandable, Molly. Next time you open your car door, eh, make think sure you about put it. your hand. Yeah. Like, think about it. Slam in your door. It's rude. If somebody. Huh? We got a perfect server here. Uh, what is Mr. your name? Mr. Alec, can you show us? <laughs> He's going to come and show us how. Wow. Oh, oh my god! He's such a good busser! Wow, wow. free busing! Oh, he got himself a little drink, Ooh, and I knew he. Seasoning. I was gonna ask. I was gonna ask good. for the seasonings. Wow! Paper towel oh for god. us. Are we gonna? Are you? You're gonna let us eat? Actually, sure. Wow! I don't know if I want them to hear me chewing. Just a little bit. So, okay. She's gonna serve us. Holy shit. This is like, this is like. Let's see what he gives us. This is prime gonna, time. You think he's going to put the slices on there too? Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Visual representation of Alec like giving you something. Let's see, let's see what he. Show them. You got to show them what you're giving us. Pepperoni. Oh. I want a cheese one for now. Please. Wow. That pizza looks good. I'm so hungry right now. This is like. Wrap up while you're having a few bites. Wow. Right, well, well we, <laughs> thank you. Uh, <laughs> we're like immediately Excuse done. Excuse me. Can I please have some? Uh, <laughs> me, can I have some ketchup or something like garlic, red do, crushed do pepper? You guys, <laughs> do you guys have a do thousand have ice? island dressing uh, over here? Yeah. Do you, what do you do got? Do you have for grated us? parmesan cheese? <laughs> <laughs> hey. You, uh, oh. <laughs> Wait. All right. Let's see what we're working. All right. With. Well, we got some you. crushed red pepper. Yeah, we got oregano. Is there anything else I could get you, ladies? Are you all right over here? I'll I be think- back in one minute. Okay. Thank you. He didn't even let us finish. <laughs> We've well, got some garlic powder. Now you guys have seen Alec in full out action, yeah. serving, and um, I think that I think that's gonna end it there, right? We're gonna if end it there. If um, you guys have any questions, if you you know what, go oh God. This was definitely a strange episode for everybody because I have no idea. I mean, I know exactly I what we talked phenomenal. about. You think so? I think it did. Yeah. Episode 10, actually. Episode 10. We, yeah, we didn't say That's anything. That's a milestone. I feel like we ruined your podcast. 
today so, so t- what is today 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 everybody is august 23rd it's tuesday 7 46 p.m just, just so we you know just for alex records here <laughs> <laughs> personal records <laughs> um we're here and i would like to say thank you to molly and alec for having me on the podcast thank you for coming like I always love seeing my girlfriend. Like, if I could see you more often and not hear about how you're always cheating on me. Right. But it's whatever. Well, anyway, we're going to go. We're going to talk about our relationship. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And I also feel that. (laughs) (laughs) I also hope you guys had a wonderful day. And you should all go get high. I think pizza. Okay. Okay, bye, guys.